people love to talk ronaldo loves to perform is all i can say <laughs> listen first and foremost whoever says ronaldo can't play at the highest level show him that friendly against ireland that step over in a top corner finish is enough to tell you what it's about robin let's get straight into it who are your favorites to win the euros wow straight straight into the Thing. Okay, um, I think favorites have to be France. Uh, the squad that they have, um, it'll it'll be very hard to beat them. I think um, the rest, I think the likes of, I would say Germany is their home team stadium, home home ground is always going to be an advantage. But yeah, you got Spain, Portugal, uh, maybe maybe that's how I will go. It'll be France at the top and the rest to follow. So France are favorites with the likes of Kylian Mbappe, who are many Saliba at the back. It's it's going to be a dangerous team to beat. Of course, France are among the prime title contenders. But let me share a trivia with you. We all know that Kylian Mbappe is a World Cup winner. He's a World Cup Golden Boot winner as well. But do you know that Kylian Mbappe has never scored in this competition? Not only that, but Kylian Mbappe also missed the penalty in the match against Switzerland, which got France eliminated. At 25 years of age, he's still very young, but he will be leading a star-studded French team in this tournament. Do you think that captaincy pressure will be a bit too overwhelming for him? I think no, and I say this because when you're scoring a hat trick at the highest level, it's it's not by chance. Uh, you know, playing at the highest level for consistently scoring goals is is not by chance, and. you know when you say leadership you also have to look at what's next yes there are as you mentioned there are lots of um, you know players who have wealth of experience under their belt but me and you are seeing the band given the coach is day in and day out with a player watching him on the pitch off the pitch how is he carrying himself is he leading the boys and i think that's what the coach is seeing when it comes to mbappe they've seen a switch i would say whereas whereas he's like okay you know what this boy is leading now um and that's where the band goes but you know something that's very important for me the band as i like to call it is for a toss it has to be a group of leaders that go on together as the strongest unit that they can and win games um uh, and i think that's what that's what france have at the moment you know with the likes of mbappe leading them but you have many kamavinga saliba dembele man that's that's a score to beat let's discuss about someone at the opposite end of the age spectrum that is cristiano ronaldo of course now there's a huge public discourse about him there are two school of thoughts here one school of thoughts is that ronaldo being the player he is he should of course feature in the portuguese starting 11 but then there's another school of thought which says that since ronaldo does not play in europe anymore he plays of course in saudi arabia gonzalo ramos of psg might be given a starting 11 role instead of ronaldo what is your opinion about this Listen, first and foremost, whoever says Ronaldo can't play at the highest level, show him that friendly against Ireland. That step over in a top corner finish is enough to tell you what it's about. Um, you know, when you say not even playing at the highest level or the best, one of the best leagues, it's about making sure that you perform at your highest. Uh, we've seen enough emotions from him throughout the league, whereas you know him crying at games, him not happy with his teammates, him getting frustrated when the football is not there. A lot of people will say we've seen him a lot more frustrated in the Saudi league. Yes, because he's played at the highest level. He expects and demands. I actually take the word expect out. He demands his teammates to perform at the highest level, and sometimes it's frustrating because you want to be at your highest level. Uh, so whereas you know, school of thought where where Ronaldo should not be playing. If listen, if if people like Roy Keane are talking about why Ronaldo, Manchester United don't have Ronaldo when you want goal scorers. is enough thought for everybody the game against ireland a brace in that game top corner finish people love to talk ronaldo loves to perform is all i can say robin a follow up question on cristiano ronaldo of course for decades ronaldo and messi have been neck and neck in that goat debate but since the 2022 world cup of course the world is at messi's feet and ronaldo is nowhere to be seen so do you think the euros it could be ronaldo swan song this will be his last opportunity to get back into the goat debate this is this is portugal's opportunity to get glory and i say this because 
you're only as strong as your weakest link. But when you look at that Portugal side, oh my God, Ronaldo, Bruno, Rafael Leao, you mentioned Ramos coming off the bench. We know he can score goals. This squad can go all the way. There, there's this young talent called Gonzalez Sao that I saw playing the other night. I had to Google him to see what he's about. He is quick. So, you know, everything I think is now falling for Portugal to, you know, go as far as they can throughout the tournament. And I think I wouldn't call them contenders, but they could be the dark horses along with a few more other teams. You have mentioned Portugal as dark horses, so let's come to this topic now. The two names which kind of stands out in this category are Belgium and Croatia. Now, Croatia are the finalists of World Cup 2018 and then semi-finalists in 2022. Belgium, of course, they have a great squad as we all know. Do you think they have the potential to win the tournament? I think Croatia will be a little difficult, let's just be honest. Uh, but I am surprised you haven't mentioned uh, Netherlands in that conversation because they are amazing. Uh, you know, Belgium, again, we've always said golden, golden period, golden age, you know, all these boys have to be performing, but have they? At some point, you you have to shift out and start performing. So this could be as much as you mentioned about swan songs for individuals. This could be Belgium's time to perform and show why they are the best. Because if you look at Belgium, you're going to talk about De Bruyne. The whole season, the question has been, can he stay fit? The One of the reasons why we saw Phil Foden win Player of the Year was because Phil Foden took over that charge while De Bruyne was injured. A lot of questions were asked why and can Phil Foden and De Bruyne play together. I'm in the balance. So with that being said, if you look at Belgium, I would, I would, I would place Netherlands over Belgium at the moment as dark horses. Robin, we must discuss about England also now. They are always the bridesmaid, never the bride. But this time it seems that they have a fantastic squad. There's Harry Kane, of course, among the most lethal goal scorers currently in world football. Then there's a Ballon d'Or candidate in Jude Bellingham, and of course there are young superstars like Phil Foden and Bukayo Saka. Could football be finally coming home for them? Listen, firstly, can I just cut, copy, paste your answer? You've just answered everything as to why England should be winning this. Secondly, it's time. I think I think Harry Kane at, at uh, you know in the Bundesliga, he's performed really well. Uh, one thing that's very important coming into such tournaments is momentum, and I think that's that's something that at the moment has to be asked about England squad. They have the momentum. Harry Kane playing really well. Jude Bellingham winning a Champions League. Phil Ford in Player of the Year, Declan Rice, one of the best uh, centre midfielders from box to box. Uh, you got Stones at the back. So it is a squad that has to perform now. You, you're coming in with a wealth of experience, a wealth of confidence, but you know it's, it's just like you have everything to make the dish, but you don't. So I think uh, that's very important and the chef has to be in charge. So, uh, Southgate has to pull the rabbit out of his hat and make sure that he can, he can get England somewhere. Otherwise... You know, it will always be a question mark. 58 years in counting could be 59 years in counting by the end of the tournament. Robin, one last question. We have spoken about the Mbappes and the Ronaldos. Of course, they are the showstoppers. Everyone will be watching them. But could you name me one player who might be going under the radar at this moment, but you expect him to set the stage ablaze come the tournament? I think one name that I really want to see uh, will be Arda Guler. Uh, Turkey is, is going to be you know, a thorn in a lot of people's foot. I uh, will see them against, as I said, one of the contenders or dark horses, which is Portugal. They're in the same group. So we can see how Turkey come out of that group because the other two is Czech and Georgia in that group. So if you look at the group qualifying, I think it's safe to say Turkey might make it through that group with with uh, Portugal. 